Ninjago's The Temple of Celebration set has been a roller coaster of ups and downs for me and a lot of people I'm sure, considering it's hard to get. First set ever with paper bags inside, having the complete set of golden Ninjago minifigures and more. First things first, how can you get it? Every year LEGO employees get a special set made just for them as a Christmas gift from LEGO itself and it's kinda awesome, you know? LEGO certified professionals and community ambassadors, part of the LEGO ambassador network, such as myself, can also get one, so that's why I was lucky enough to to get a copy. This makes it a hard set to get, as the only way to get this if you're not related to LEGO is if LEGO employees sell their copies in the aftermarket, which often cases does happen. I still have my copies of previous employee gifts from the time I was working for LEGO, but still can't get over the fact that I wasn't gifted the Christmas X-Wing, even though I was a LEGO employee for most of the year of 2019. Oh well. Onto the set itself, boxes of Christmas employee gift sets often have a pretty special decorated box when you compare it to regular retail LEGO sets. It's common that they have a special message in several languages as well and this set in particular hints at the fact that it was designed to be built by up to six different people, which I think is really cool and more LEGO sets should aim for. Inside of the box comes what I have been most anxiously waiting for since late 2020 when LEGO promised to be rolling out paper bags to replace the single-use plastic bags. Like this pile up really fast and I do love LEGO but I hate these. There's a special message telling about the plans of LEGO to make all packaging sustainable by 2025 and inside the first look ever at LEGO paper bags, finally! Now here's where the roller coaster of feeling starts as not all of the bags are paper. I was a bit let down by this but after thinking about it I really need to be happy about it. Even if the change is small it still means LEGO is finally taking steps in making paper bags a reality and nobody should ever expect to see sets fully packed on paper overnight because this is a process that will take some years to happen. So out of the 12 bags the set had four were paper. When I started building the set, and here you can see me rip open my first LEGO paper bag ever, I was again let down because inside there's plastic bags. What? But before being critical once again, I stopped to think that even though it may look silly having plastic bags inside the paper ones, the fact is there's paper bags in the set, guys. The way the set was planned out was to have six different instruction booklets, each containing parts of the set that can be built independently. As a special treat, each of the booklets also has a little poem written in different languages, and I'll quickly show all six, feel free to pause the video if you want to read them. The first part of the build is Lord Garmadon's Christmas sleigh being pulled by a dragon. Even though the dragon build is small and compact, the wingspan making use of the long golden blade elements give it a really nice big size feeling if that makes any sense. I like the dragon's beard with a golden frog element, the golden antlers and the front leg design has a very clever triangle build to it. The sleigh itself is very compact but overall nice looking with some of the new brown slopes, golden details and these angled shapes in the back covered with the golden Asian hat element. Still room for some gifts and it is connected to the dragon with two golden hose elements. The next four parts of the build have us building the different floors of the Temple of Celebrations, with a nice mix of Ninjago and Christmas vibes with the color choices of the temple itself, the roof builds complete with snowy details, hanging lanterns and ice icicles, the Christmas reefs in this balcony area and finally a snowman. Inside and from the top there's a golden master Wu bust I'll talk more about later on and a gift, in the following floor some dressers with gifts on top, next some desks with a couple of details, with my favorite actually being the micro scale Ninjago City Gardens, and on the bottom floor, the 10 year anniversary golden 2x2 round tile, a nice fireplace at the corner, and a weird arrangement of tiles on the floor to which you can attach the builds from the sixth part of the set, which contains a nicely Ninjago themed decorated Christmas tree and the table set out for 8 people, even though this set contains 11 minifigures and they should all be celebrating together. You can choose what to display inside the temple, as both the tree and the table can be interchanged. The tree also comes with a few brick build gifts, with these two in particular being very clever builds in my opinion, and there's also a sledge and a pile of wood builds. The minifigure selection in the set is brilliant, and this opinion is coming from someone who got a copy of the set, but maybe not so brilliant for Ninjago fans who had to collect 7 different LEGO sets in order to be able to collect all of the golden ninjas. But before those there's Santa Garmadon to look at, kinda matching the sleigh, 2 serpentine minifigures with one looking like a kid serpentine with the short legs and red scarf, 
and Misako, proudly wearing a sweater featuring Ursan. Onto the Golden Ninjas themselves, these are the exact same ones you saw in the 10 year celebration sets. They don't come with the special bases the other sets had, though that hardly is an issue for me. Master Wu, however, is the only minifigure that doesn't match the golden version as seen in Ninjago City Gardens. But, as mentioned before, in the top floor of the Temple of Celebrations, the golden head and beard elements are included, so in the end you can actually build all 7 golden Ninjago minifigures. I can understand how this may make some Ninjago fans a bit angry, but at the same time I also feel that LEGO employees are entitled to something special for their artwork throughout the year. I still feel they should be entitled to something special if they worked off of a year on the company, you know? Just saying. I've already mentioned some of the nice techniques the set had, and I was also quite surprised by the overall build of the old set as well. It was very enjoyable to do, and there really were some very clever moments and nice techniques, like the sideways builds of the two different types of windows of the temple, the fireplace inside, and a very clever shape and the way it was built upside down on the top window over here. I personally loved this set, considering the paper bags, the ability to be built by up to 6 people, amazing building experience and minifigure selection. I know that it will be hard for most people to get their hands on this set, but at least I hope that you somewhat enjoyed the review and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.